Okay, so Robin, when, when you look around the room here at the Royal Lancaster Hotel, yeah. you'll see 50 of the greatest footballers in the history of English football. How does it feel to be amongst them? Makes me very proud. You know, I've seen the list, I know what you're talking about, and um, it's just for me, I never really thought that I would ever be uh, yes, yeah, sort of sitting here with you and winning this trophy. Uh, even during this year, I wasn't really thinking about winning a trophy uh, for myself. I was just playing because I liked it, playing to win, playing to um, uh, yeah, finish as high as possible in the league. And that's about it. Uh, and when I found out that I actually won it, uh, I, I was a bit surprised. I was like, really, me? I was like, I didn't really get it. And uh, so, yeah, it makes me really proud to be a part of that history. Mm. Obviously, you won the Players' Award as well earlier. Yep. And now you've won the Football Writers' Award. How, how important is it for you as a player to get the respect of the Football Writers? Really important because uh, yeah, those guys, journalists, uh, those writers, are, um, they know everything about you. They, they've seen every single game, they've seen every single assist, every single move. They know everything about you. They are doing, uh, during the year, doing interviews with me, interviews with others. They get a clear picture of uh, who is, in their opinion, their best player. And uh, that's why it means so much to me that these guys uh, yeah, voted for me because uh, yeah, yeah, to win the PFA is something very special. Uh, but this is yeah, very special too. And of course you've won awards over the years. You, you say you, you won awards similar to this trophy yeah, when, when you were a little boy. When I was 10 years old, yeah. When I was 10 years old, I've just seen that uh, trophy and it looks beautiful. Um, when I was 10 years old, we had a big tournament in uh, Zoetermeer. It's close to Den Haag in Rotterdam. and. Um, it was, it was a yeah, very similar trophy and uh, it made me so proud because I was uh, 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 still playing with my first team, Excelsior. It was a yeah, smaller team and we were uh, yeah, sort of up against uh, teams like Anderlecht, uh, Ajax, PSV, Feyenoord, uh, big teams in Europe and uh, in Holland. And uh, I think there were like 40 teams playing of the same age and I won it. I won the best player of the tournament and it makes me so proud, you know. And, uh, I still have that uh, trophy, uh, so yeah. When I just saw that trophy, I was like, I was just having a flashback about 18 years ago. And of course, you've had a, a fantastic season. The goals have been going in, no injuries, which is a big difference as well. It's, it's, it must be good to come yeah. through a season without any injury. Yeah. And now looking That's forward true. to what could be a great summer with Holland. Can you go one stage further than you did in the World Cup final? I hope so. We were, uh, four minutes uh, uh, to a penalty shootout. They scored in the 116th minute, so uh, uh, yeah, hopefully we can push it even further. Um, uh, it will be quite tricky because we have a really tough group. Uh, it's a, we have a group. First game is against Denmark, second game is against uh, Germany, and the third one is against Portugal. So uh, I think uh, that, that we have to look at it game by game and just uh, yeah, give it our all. And, see what happens. You need a bit of luck during a tournament, so hopefully we can get that and uh, just look at it game by game. And uh, from that, I think we have, um, even after that, we have a really tough task because we can uh, meet Italy in the second round. After that, uh, we have a really hard one as well. We can meet Spain if, if we both win our games in the semis. So uh, ooh, if we win it, we, we are sort of really yeah, deserve it to win it. So. Um, Sometimes I even think that, that the Euros, European Championships, is, is maybe a little bit harder than a, than a World Cup because uh, you have only quality teams playing there and uh, during a World Cup you always have in one group, you always have one a bit weaker side which you normally would win. But uh, yeah, during a Euros, it's, uh, it's not the case. And, and finally for me, obviously you've had some down periods in your career with, with injuries when you missed yeah. large chunks. When you're having such a good time, when, when the goals are going in and the, and, the, and the team is returning to form and you're starting to pick up awards like this, do you, do you have to savour those moments do you, or, or can you sort of see them in perspective of how your career has gone over the years? Uh, well, yeah, to be fair, when I just heard about winning those two trophies, um, I was like straight away thinking back about uh, periods when it wasn't going so well. And, um, that's just what the human does, I think, you know, and uh, uh, I had to come from quite deep some stages of my career. I had uh, two bad injuries, one of my uh, metatarsal, one with my ankle.
but um, yeah, I think it's proof for everyone that, that yeah, if you work hard day in day out, if you um, treat football the way you should do it, and um, uh, just enjoy yourself uh, day in day out, uh, anything can happen. Lots of positives can happen as well because when I got injured, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm missing six months. And, uh, one thing I learned as well in football is that you can't really plan your career. You just don't know what will happen the next day. And uh, that's, yeah, th that's a big lesson I learned. And uh, I think lots of footballers will learn that along the way because it, it is like that. No one knows what will happen in five minutes, next day, next week. Uh, so just live by that moment and enjoy every single training session, every single game um, till the max. And then, very finally, um have you reached your peak yet, or is there more to come from? Ryan I hope Burson? not. I hope not, you know, because uh, yeah, in football you can't really tell when your peak is because you don't really know. You yeah, you can see it with uh, footballers as well, who are 35 or 36. Um, did they reach their peak? I don't know. You know, I've seen Dennis Burkham playing when he was 36, 37. Well, yeah, to me that was quite a high peak still. You know, so he was still playing unbelievable well, and. Um, when is your peak? I think you, you, uh, you can only judge that when you are uh, finished and then have a look back and say, ah, those couple of years were my peak. But not really now, I hope not. Fantastic. Cheers. Thank you.